so i guess there was there was hope slim hope thin yeah slim hope that i people was gonna um reopen in time to save people's summer i've been annoyed by this whole like save our summer campaign anyway it's really really done my head in but i get where the sentiment comes from right lockdown has been a pretty stressful and you know for the most part so crushing endeavor right no one wants to be at home no one wants to be away from their friends not being able to go out and party and all that sort of stuff no one wants that so i understand the sentiment of trying to save your summer but in the beginning save our summer was sort of like when the government was saying oh let's get football back so we can raise the country's morale when the numbers were really sp spiking right where we were kind of taking over the free thirty thousand people death sort of count it sort of made things really odd like why would you want to save our summer when we have like other things to worry about domestically but you know again ibifa is this whole ecosystem uh people rely on those jobs the hospitality industry of there is massive of course nightlife industry there is massive too um and you know people rightly had you know plans that they had put in place for the summer holidays that had completely been up upended you can't blame them for wanting to rescue some parts of it but unfortunately the spanish government have or the abifa government has basically said no events are going to happen again um this year partly because there's no vaccine so they have to just be you know strict about that and say until we get a vaccine we can't really take a risk of having people inside big mega clubs that you, you know when covid wasn't around they would sort of oversell them anyway so i imagine when they've been out of business for three or four months they're going to want to get their money back so it's probably a good thing they came out and just said it um obviously pending a vaccine being invented within the next six months or so but this is from a bbc article it says i for clubs will not open this year it says um djs and club owners and party goers have been crossing their fingers for Ibiza to open in 2020 um now the Balearic government have said nightclub venues cannot open their doors until next year at the earliest according to local media a local paper says the government has ruled out keeping the ban throughout 2021 until there's a coronavirus vaccine or treatment hi Ibiza and, and how do you say Usha Ushla? Ushla, Ushala, have you pronounced that? I remember the big venues to take part. So this is a statement from the Night League. It says, Dear friends, following the news of the Balearic governments uh, that no clubs will be open at the big, uh, not be for this season, it is with a heavy heart that we announce that we will no longer, no events will be taking place at Haya Bifa and wherever that Ushaya venue is. This is clearly a deep impact for all of us. However, we understand that this is the correct decision taking account the situation caused by COVID 19. Now, this is a time to act reasonably responsibly sorry uh above any other consideration putting the health and safety of our guests artists and team first this is the hardest challenge we've have faced since we started our incredibly journey but now uh more than ever we are determined to work towards delivering our biggest season in 2021 when we look forward to welcoming you back again we send you all our love and gratitude at this time the night league owner of those fur places so obviously you know devastating news if you're someone that goes to IB for a lot you're gonna be you know super gutted i think although there's part of me that's sort of like did you really think you were going to be able to go to IB for this year considering everything that's happened in the world that was a really full-hearted thing to believe in or to get your hopes up like it's just not like it just it wasn't going to happen especially when you look at some of the other countries that have sort of you know come out of COVID-19 the best um they're still not up and running fully um in the same way that it w you would require for a beaver to be you know at least manageable or at least worthwhile for people that host those events right it's not worth them even if they could open they would probably have to open to limited capacity but can you legitimately put on a limited capacity at beaver club night especially in mega clubs the amount of bar staff you gotta pay and security and shit it's gonna you know just running costs alone is not gonna make that worth it so um yeah the optim it was optimistic to say the least to think that you're gonna be able to rave this summer uh the statement says that the, the, the repeating the statement what i said um um, the continuity says the tourist driven economy on the island has suffered uh, because of the pandemic and some cl hopeful club owners have been selling tickets for events to take place in October. <laughs> it had been a long awaited announcement with much of the nightlife industry pushing for permission to open the no social distancing measures in place. The ban seems to cover big indoor venues and it's unclear um, that the rules will be around outdoor beach clubs too. Wayne Lineker, who owns O Beach Abifa, posted after the government announcement to say that he will be open opening we're here and we're gonna have some fun so i guess wayne lineker doesn't care he's gonna go with for it anyway um 
you can travel to Spain, blah, blah. So, yeah, I'm interested to see what happens. Um, obviously, the the statement is quite clear, no events. But again, I've, it's obviously pending a treatment or a vaccine, so that might change things. But I don't know. Like, what's the consumer confidence going to be like? Will people actually want to go to a club now with COVID still around? Because um, I think we've seen that in the States, right? I think most restaurants reported a big spike especially the ones that reopened in some of the southern states they operate they you know reported big spikes in sales and queues around the block and then after the third week people started to become a bit more you know nervous and hesitant obviously due to numbers spiking up again in some of those states but um consumer confidence is going to be slow to rebuild isn't it from the government to the businesses themselves it's not going to be an easy overnight thing just because someone says you can reopen doesn't mean anyone's going to come so um yeah it's sad to see man it really is um in one way sad to see another way i think it's also a good time to sort of reboot and refresh ibiza and what it means right i watch i've never been to ibiza but i watched so many of those i've watched for years the ims ibiza panel discussions where they essentially talk about the same topic right how commercial ibiza has become over the years um how it's kind of lost its essence right it's not the ibiza of old right um yeah, be for the fucking George Michael used to go to back in the day. It's not the same one. So they want to get back that vibe, right? That sort of hippie, sort of like um, wonder lusty, you know, whatever vibe that they had. They want to bring that back. So this is probably the best way to do it because everyone playing then at the moment at barbecues or like at smaller venues, they're going to be local DJs, right? Local promoters who have been there for a while, but have probably been overlooked because, you know, their names aren't Solomon and Marco Corolla. But now that those guys can't come um, or they're unable to come or unwilling to come, um, it's probably going to give those smaller people, smaller DJs um, with kind of less clout and less notoriety a chance to showcase their skills. And then hopefully when the big mega clubs do reopen, they just balance because I'm not saying, you know, they should just be mega. They're not saying they should only be underground clubs and mega clubs. No, make mega clubs for the casual tourists, but also have some balance so that the smaller venues have you know local people playing who get the vibe of the islands and can sort of like you know uh relay that back on the decks so you can only hope that happens going forward but yeah surprising um big news and a club in front for anyone hoping to go to that beefer it's not gonna happen this year unfortunately my friends 